Hello and good morning and welcome to another week in our garden. It's very very cold today. I've had to put my trousers and my cardigan on. It's so cold. The wind's coming from the north, northeast I think, which is always a cold wind for us. Now we're starting in the top greenhouse. We're going to harvest a few of the peppers, the yellow ones that are ready and I think the cucumber will take from down the garden that, that one that we got that was the wrong seed in the packet but I'm sure there's one ready but we'll check that down there. Let's harvest these yellow peppers. Here are, there's three on this one that are ready. Three on that one, I believe. So we'll take those. There's a little bit of green left in it, but that'll disappear within a day or so. I think the, I'm cutting them with a knife, but I think I should have brought the fine secateurs up and taken that. Again, good pepper though. And this one. There you go. Same again, a little bit of a blemish on it there. That'll be fine. Cut our way instead. I think there might be a bit of green on them still. There. Well, that's not so bad. I think when you've got a lot of peppers, that's when you get the misshapen ones. Got it. Here we are. Bits more, bit green. That's fine. Now, we won't pick any of the tomatoes today because we picked quite a few yesterday, so we've got plenty in the house. But they're still coming. They're producing quite well. I know that some people have been telling me they haven't had any tomatoes yet, but I think ours, another week or so, and they'll be at the end. Now let's go down the garden and see what else we can do. Now, just an update on the strawberries. I did finish them. And what I've done, with it being so dry, we've had no rain for several weeks now, I've actually irrigated them so we can wait those roots up to take that feed in so we can get a decent plant ready for winter. As you can see, they're all coming back. That's the first row I did, and there's already leaves coming up. So they'll be fine now. The primer cane raspberries, if you can remember, were beginning to get fruit. Well, we've got some on. I'll just pick them and show you. There are a few more at the top, but I won't fetch those. As you can see, they're quite large berries. A bit of green on that one, but quite large berries and soon the plant will be full of them. They're just beginning to get the fruits on now. What we could really do is a little bit warmer temperature, but these are raspberries, so they should be all right. Right, we'll make our way down to the bottom greenhouse. It is cold in this wind. You wouldn't think it was just the end of August. Now the little salad bed is doing quite well. The pigeons keep settling on the frame and messing this one up at this end, so that one will be taken out. Now we've come into the frame where the butternut squashes are, except for this one, if you remember, is a cucumber for some unknown reason. But it's producing cucumbers, so it's welcome. There is two down there, obviously smaller than the greenhouse ones, so I'm going to pick those while we're here. As you can see, a bit smaller than the greenhouse, but they're fine. I'll take the other one that's right down the bottom somewhere. Yeah. 
a little bit smaller still but that's fine it's scratched because of the the congestion in there while we're here i'll just show you the butternut squashes the pigeons are sitting up there at night so i'm getting quite a bit of mess in but as you can see it's they're not so big as normal and they're very late whether we have time to mature them or not we'll have to wait and see at least they're they're coming they're trying so let's see what we can make of them now while we're here the kohlrabi is swelling up nicely so i should take one of those i picked it from underneath got a little bit of slug damage on it but that's negotiable no no white fly that makes a change i'll just take the leaves off not the best of knives but it would do for today peeling a little bit but that's not, not a problem Um, that one we'll leave the little tassel on just take that big leaf off if you can there you are the bottom I'll cut off up at the shed because these knives are not strong enough to cut those a couple of courgettes ready so we'll take those as well There's one. It's at this stage where I'm thinking I wish I'd brought the other knife down. There you go. There's a couple of courgettes. The other ones, with two more there coming, well with loads coming. Two more that are nearly ready, and so tomorrow they'll probably want picking. Now, as you can see, the the tomatoes are all coming, but this cold snap we're going through now, if you can remember, that the tomatoes will ripen better in the warmth. So the this cold weather is going to slow them a little, but they're coming through nicely now. Now we'll nip down to the bottom where the greenhouse is. I want to put in some potatoes that hopefully be ready for Christmas. And we'll show you the progress of the peppers. And I do believe there's another pepper down there. Too. I don't know whether you can see through the net or not, but I did get some of the brassicas in. I've still quite a few to put in, but I'm holding until the weather gets wet to soften the ground if i put them in now that means i've got to come down here at least once a day to water them in and keep them going so it's best just to wait a little while until that till it rains the ground's nice and warm and they'll really grow away then now this is the onion patch that was obviously they've been harvested and they're all dry and now whilst the plot is empty i'm going to put some coffee grounds on it now the garage that sells coffee i have their grounds every week these are the coffee grounds i get from the garage every week and what i'm doing i'm scattering onto the beds as they come empty I've been doing this now for oh, about a year and there's quite a lot of coffee grounds gone into this garden. I'll show you what I do. I just take the scoop and I start at the edge and I just backwards and forwards like that. I fetch the bucket, it'll be easier. But I always try to make sure I get the edges. Because they say the slugs don't like this, 
and the slugs live on the edges of the plot and come out at night so I tried to get as much around the edge as possible. This is how I normally do it, I just go along sprinkling and then along the edge and then the next bit So I'll get rid of this coffee and then I'll show you what to do. I just sprinkle the coffee grounds on the top like that and I use this old four prong rake and I just rake it in like that. Can you see? Just rake it through and hopefully if it rains it sort of washes it in for me. I'll just do this piece. That's all I do, I just rake it into the surface. Obviously with being as dry as it is, there's no chance of raking it deep because it's solid. But I'll rake it and then show you it finished. Now that's that raked over. This plot will be for next year's cauliflowers. So what I should do now is just let it rest and hopefully let the rain wash through the soil and then probably in the spring we'll start preparing it for those cauliflowers. There looks a big plot for cauliflowers so it might be cauliflowers and cabbage. I always scatter at least one full scoop into the compost bin every week and then that goes into the compost for when we start to put the compost on. Now we'll finish up going down to the bottom greenhouse. Finally got into the bottom greenhouse, quite warm in there, it's a bit of temperature. Um, it's only 19 and the pepper's like 20. So before we talk about the onions, I'm just going to pull the vents down. We'll leave them just open. And close those the, because these peppers, I like to keep them around the 20 mark if possible, that's 20 Celsius. This one here that's ready, we'll take that in a moment. But first, we'll have a look at these onions. Now they've come in nicely, drying nicely now. Not, nowhere near dry yet. They should be drier than that. But they're looking good. What I find now is I go through them periodically with my hand. Just a gentle squeeze. And this is what I'm looking for. Can you see that one? It's a bit... It's a bit soft there, look, you can see it, it looks like it's been bruised badly there. That's a bit soft, so that is now rejected. I have quite a few onions in the greenhouse, but I've got about half of this rack in the top shed as well, so we've got quite a few onions. These smaller ones, Diane will probably use those first, and the very big ones. I don't think the very big ones look very good and they're difficult to get onto the string so she'll use those up first. The normal nice sized ones they'll string up nicely. Now then these peppers, let's take this one if we can get to it. They're always very tight. It's I think we've got it. We have. There it is. Perfect. A very nice pepper that. Very nice. Now these are the chilli peppers. At this time of year 
going on the last two years. They should be bright red now, so they're way behind. Bullhorn ones, I can show you. They're a little bit behind. I would like to see a bit more colour on them by now. Looking at them, we have one or two that are beginning to turn now, so they won't be long. Give them a week or so. If we keep them warm, they'll, they'll ripen nice. The red peppers, which is king of the north, they're just beginning to darken now, so again, there'll be a week or so yet. But the majority of them are still green then. Remember, you can eat them green, they're not quite as nice, but you can eat them. Another little job, as I said at the top, we'll put those Christmas potatoes in. And I must remember to harvest some spring onions on the way back. Now we'll put these potatoes in, hopefully for Christmas. I'll just show you the compost mixture I'm going to use. It is three quarters of our own compost from the compost bins, what we've made from the garden. And um, one part uh, compost out of the bag that it had left and it's mixed up nicely there's all sorts in it uh, no fertilizer as such we'll get them growing first and then decide whether we're going to put any fertilizer in or not with the compost out the compost bin they shouldn't really need any fertilizer they should be all right here they are then not the well sprouted they won't be long coming up at all now you don't really have to sprut them this time of year. It's just that these have been ready a week and we've had the granddaughter for a few days. She's five, so <laughs> they've sprutted a little bit more than what we need to. But if they're not sprutted, that's fine because it's nice and warm and they'll soon grow. Half a pot of compost already in put your potatoes on and all I'm going to do is cover them about halfway up this so we'll take it up to the 30 mark and then obviously as you can see this is quite dry so we'll give them a drink and that should start them off Once they start growing and winter's coming, so if it looks like it's going to be very cold or even frost, move them either into a shed or into the greenhouse. And then when they are ready, you can cut the tops off and they'll sit in the compost quite happy until you want them. I think with just this little bit left, we'll put all of it in. This is the same compost that we put on the uh, soft fruit, the strawberries and the raspberries, but that didn't have that bit of compost in it. Now, talking about the compost, uh, bin at this end is nearly empty, so I shall be turning the bins over in the next few weeks I think fortnight max so we'll also show you what it's like when I'm turning the compost over but these will go outside the front of the greenhouse there I'll water them later I don't believe no I haven't got any water down here all the the tubs are all empty because of the drought but I'll bring some down and give them a watering. I, uh, I have to bring it down every day to water the peppers, etc. So I'll just give these a drink. There will actually be three of these pots when I've finished. And if there's enough potatoes, it could be four. While we're here, as you can see, the carrots are doing well in their tubes. They uh, remember this one once thinning at some stage, so, but this one's a good one. So we'll have a look later 
we might have to take quite a few of those out and I'll give them to the chickens but they're doing all right it's a case of with this we'll see how we go now we've got back to the shed uh, I was just looking there the grapevine is nearly ready for another haircut I'll have to do that this week it's growing like mad again now we had a harvest while we was down there as you know I'll just show you what we harvested so we finished up with six peppers now very nice they are uh, I did pull the onions on the way up I nearly forgot so I nipped back and got those there's the purple kohlrabi two courgettes we just picked a couple of carrots because Diane wants a couple more for the coleslaw we have actually picked some the other days and they're quite good two of the cucumbers that have grown outside they still don't know anything about the name or anything but they taste all right they're okay now that'll be it for this week thank you for watching many many thanks for subscribing we do appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you next week bye now